Jaxus. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try and do some commentary, commentary here, despite my, my relative lack of knowledge project them. Also, also, if there are any issues with, say, my microphone volume, please, please let me know in the chat. chat. Anyways, this, this is game two between Squid and Swamp. Uh, Squid took the first game, it was pretty close, until Squid managed to get Falco up in the air, and it just didn't let him down. At this, At this point, point, the match, match is looking very even, only about a 5% difference, difference. Then, then, then turns, turns into a stock. Ah, it's echoing? echoing? Alright, I, I will see what I can do to fix that. that. We, were we were having, having this problem, problem last week as, as well. well. Alright, let me know if that's any better. If not, then please mention that as well. Anyways, back to the match. Uh, Swamp still has not lost his first stock. Commentator's curse right there. But with that, things are back to pretty close to even. Fighting over stage control at the moment. Who does not get the shine. How, or sorry, the Phantasm gets jabbed out of it, I believe it is? Yeah, looks like. Razor Leaf being a multi-hit move is a pretty big buff from Brawl. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Ivysaur, one of his gimmicks is that as you, I believe it's taunt, then you slowly build up solar power in the bud, and once it reaches a certain point, you can just press B, and it'll release, ooh, SD, unfortunate, but and it will release a huge amount of power at a directly 45 degree angle. It's, I believe, a one-hit KO move? Obviously not guaranteed if you can tech it or something, however, yeah, it is indeed Solar Beam. Squid getting a lot of damage off of Forward Tilt. And there you see the taunt that charges up Solar Beam. Good to do anytime your opponent's off stage and you're just kind of waiting. That multi-hit Razor Leaf sets up some very solid follow-ups because they can't move as they're locked in hit stun and I believe it would do a lot of shield stun as well just assuming <laughs> project M uh, allows you to tether to a ledge even if someone else is on it so you can't really edge hog anyone with a tether recovery such as Ivysaur where that is his main form of recovery also I feel like Swamp needs to stop going for these uh, charged smashes in the other direction because so far he's gone for two, and I don't believe he converted on either. Though I'm not sure he's actually been punished that hard for him, so... I mean, I guess on the off chance that it works, keep going for it. At least in this match. Anyways, uh... Swamp putting in some good work on Ivysaur, but not sure it'll be enough. Ah, that is another thing. Any of the seed blooms, or seed flares, whatever it is, like that up smash right there, that land, will also recharge the, uh, sorry, will also charge the solar beam. Alright, and with that, it is one stock to one. However, uh, Swamp is almost dead. He's very definitely approaching kill percent. And Ivysaur can or has the tools to just kind of camp and wait if he so chooses. Doesn't look like he's going to be doing so as much. Eh, maybe a little bit. He's being less aggressive than he was before, that's for sure. And Swamp is really struggling to find a way in. Who does not manage to punish the Phantasm. 
That would have been stock if he did, but I think he held onto it just slightly too long. Possibly started it too late, I honestly don't know. Looks like Squid was not expecting that much range from Phantasm. Pooh! But baits the air dodge and follows it up with an up smash. And with that, the wins are tied and this will go into game three.